Mothballs are small, round balls with white color and have a distinctive pungent odor. Chemically, mothballs undergo sublimation, meaning they transition directly from solid to gas without becoming liquid. This process releases the vapor into the air, creating an environment that repels pests such as moths, silverfish, and cockroaches. The high volatility of mothballs allows them to release toxic fumes over an extended period. These chemicals interfere with the insect's nervous system when inhaled. This video will show you the best ways to eliminate pests with mothballs. 1. Moths Moths are a common household pest that can damage clothing, carpets, and other fabrics. One way to get rid of moths is by using mothballs. When you place mothballs in enclosed spaces such as closets or storage boxes, the gas from these balls saturates the air, suffocating and poisoning any moths present. The chemicals in mothballs disrupt the nervous system of moths. Once inhaled or ingested, these toxic substances interfere with the insect's ability to function, ultimately leading to its demise. Mothballs are also a deterrent for future infestations, because moths find their odor extremely unpleasant and tend to avoid areas where they are present. Place the balls in the areas where moths are present for maximum effect. These areas include closets, drawers, and storage boxes, where you keep clothing or other fabric items. You can also place a few mothballs inside vacuum cleaner bags to kill any eggs or larvae picked up during cleaning. However, ensure you handle mothballs cautiously, as they can harm humans and pets if ingested or inhaled excessively. 2. Bed Bugs Mothballs are famous for repelling and killing various pests, including bed bugs. Bed bugs are susceptible to the toxic effects of mothballs for several reasons. First, the gas released by mothballs can penetrate deep into cracks and crevices where bed bugs hide, reaching and killing them. In addition, bed bugs have a highly sensitive respiratory system that makes them more vulnerable to the chemical compounds in mothball vapors. To kill and repel bed bugs with mothballs identify the areas infested with these pests. Sprinkle mothballs in and around these areas, such as under your mattress or in cracks and crevices where bed bugs may be hiding. The odor of mothballs is a deterrent for bed bugs, killing and causing them to avoid these areas. 3. Cockroaches Cockroaches are infamous household pests that can cause distress and frustration. These resilient insects can survive in harsh conditions and reproduce rapidly, making them difficult to control. However, using mothballs is an effective way to eliminate cockroaches. Mothballs contain chemicals which have strong odors that repel cockroaches. Placing mothballs in areas like kitchen cabinets or dark corners can deter these pests from entering your home. However, don't use mothballs in areas where you prepare or store food, as they release toxic fumes. To use mothballs against cockroaches, crush them into a powder. You can do this by placing a few mothballs inside a plastic bag and using a rolling pin or hammer to crush them. Sprinkle it in areas where cockroaches are present, such as cracks and crevices, underneath sinks, or behind appliances. Alternatively, Another effective way to use mothballs is to place them inside breathable containers like mesh bags or cheesecloth sachets. These containers allow the odor from the mothballs to permeate while containing them and preventing direct contact with surfaces or food items. You can place these sachets in areas prone to infestation, such as kitchen cabinets, pantry shelves, or bathroom corners. 4. Ants Ants are often a common nuisance that homeowners have to face. These tiny insects can invade your home, contaminate food, and cause structural damage if left unchecked. However, you can eliminate them with various methods, and one such method is using mothballs. Mothballs contain a strong odor that repel ants and other insects. When exposed to naphthalene, ants experience respiratory distress and suffocate due to the fumes from the mothballs. This chemical disrupts the ant's ability to take in oxygen and eventually leads to its death. The toxic properties of mothballs make them excellent for eliminating ant infestations. Ants hate the odor of mothballs and will avoid areas where they are present. 
To utilize moth balls for ant control, place them in areas where ants enter your home or nest. These areas could be near window sills, doors, cracks in walls or floors, or any other entry points you have identified. You can also scatter moth balls around your garden or yard to prevent ants from invading these spaces. 5. Silverfishes Silverfishes are small, wingless insects found in homes and other structures. They have distinct silver-colored scales and wriggling movements, which resemble the movement of a fish. These pests thrive in dark, damp environments such as basements, bathrooms, and attics where they can find moisture and food sources. While silverfish do not harm humans or pets, they can cause significant damage to belongings such as books, clothing, paper goods, and even wallpaper. Mothballs contain chemicals, which are highly toxic to silverfish. After releasing these chemicals into the air, they make a strong odor that repels and kills silverfish. The pungent smell is unbearable for silverfishes, disrupting their ability to locate food sources and navigate the environment. These chemicals interfere with the silverfish's biological processes and eventually lead to their death. To use mothballs against these pesky insects, place them in areas where you have spotted silverfish activity. Make sure to put the mothballs in closed containers or pouches to prevent direct contact with your belongings because they may leave behind an unpleasant odor. Proper ventilation is vital to minimize the risk of inhaling the fumes from mothballs. 6. Fleas Fleas are tiny, wingless insects that can cause a significant nuisance in homes and pets. These blood-sucking pests can quickly infest an entire house if left untreated, making it crucial to eliminate them. Mothballs, when used correctly, can create an inhospitable environment for fleas and encourage them to leave the area. Place the balls in areas where fleas are likely to hide or breed, such as pet bedding or dark corners of the house. Always follow safety instructions when handling mothballs and keep them away from children and pets, as they can be toxic if ingested. 7. Dust mites. Dust mites are microscopic insects that live in our homes, particularly in areas where dust tends to accumulate. They thrive in warm and humid environments, such as bedding, carpets, and upholstered furniture. While not visible to the naked eye, dust mites can cause various allergic reactions and respiratory issues. Mothballs can kill and repel these mites because they feature toxic compounds. These compounds release a pungent odor to repel these pests. The chemicals sublimate into toxic gas to insects, but are not harmful to humans when you use them appropriately. Always follow safety guidelines when using mothballs for pest control. Place the mothballs in areas where you suspect dust mite infestation or their preferred habitats, such as pieces of furniture and closets with stored clothing or bedding. 8. Groundhogs or moles. Mothballs are another effective way of repelling groundhogs. Made with naphthalene, mothballs produce a smell that groundhogs detest and can detect even at very low concentrations. When you find a burrow entrance on your property, you can push a few mothballs into the entrance. This will prevent the groundhog from using that entrance for several weeks while the smell dissipates. Unfortunately, simply filling in the hole or throwing more mothballs in occasionally doesn't keep a groundhog from slipping back into your yard through the fence or from another burrow opening. Getting rid of groundhogs with mothballs can be a useful stopgap method if you're in the process of installing a groundhog-proof fence in the garden, but it's not a long-term solution. 9. Skunks It may seem ironic, but skunks hate certain odors. Citrus, ammonia, mothballs and predator urine are smells that can scare off skunks. Place mothballs around any area you believe the skunk may be active. Do not put them in areas where it will affect your edible vegetation or where ventilation will bring the odors into your house. If you are concerned about your pet eating them, place them in old stockings. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, please subscribe to Natural Health Remedies and don't forget to give this video the thumbs up. And I'm sure you are going to enjoy this next video on how to get rid of pests using Dawn dish soap. Thanks for watching and bye for now.